Hello and welcome back to another lesson from MathForBreakfast.com. What I have before you is a string of numbers. I'm going to try that again. A string of letters, because they're letters. I'll work on that next time. RRGB and RRGB and RRGB and RRGB and what's the next letter? Yeah, yeah, R R. G B and you could probably keep going R R G B R R G B because you've learned the pattern right that's exactly it you've learned a pattern so you can keep writing this until you run out of ink why what would pattern value me real life what's up let's talk about real life guitar hero that's as real life as it gets right I mean everybody on the planet and guitar hero and the uh, Clearly, I'm not the one you want to have on your team when playing Guitar Hero. You've got, you've got expert, hard, medium, beginner, easy, and then that level below that most computers don't go to, infant, right? Pacifier, cloth diaper, me. That's how it works. As long as I'm breathing, I get a point, right? And even then, kind of iffy. But for anybody who's great at Guitar Hero, let's say any four-year-old on up, they learn a pattern, they do great, boom. Boom, because boom means I'm doing great. So a pattern, another pattern in life. Those of you that own dogs, hey, congratulations, you got a puppy. Take puppy outside, does business, you give treat. Outside, business, treat. Outside, business, treat. Pretty soon the dog learns, go outside, do business, get treat. It's been a long time since anybody ever gave me a treat for doing business, right? I mean, it's kind of like, okay, waiting for that donut. Anybody? No? Darn. Um, patterns, and that's what we're going to use in learning how to factor the difference of squares. Another lesson on factoring from mathforbreakfast.com. We have been learning factoring for the past few lessons, if you've been watching the lessons on YouTube, and now we have a, another situation where we're going to factor what's called the difference of squares, and we're going to use a pattern to help you do that. And so, before we get there, we've got to address a couple items. First, what is a square? That's a good question. What is it? I know, if I draw an object like this, four equal sides, that's a square. Not going to help here. We're not drawing pictures today. But a square, yes, that is a square. But in this case, one, numerically. Okay. Numerically, a square is something like one, because one is the same thing as one times one. Now, there is, a, there is a relationship here, okay, 1 times 1 to find the area of this square, okay, um, so there is a connection, but we're really working on the numbers here, 4, 4 is a square, because it's 2 times 2, the number times itself gives me 4, of course, 9 would be another square, because 3 times 3 gives me 9, a number times itself, so if something times itself can get you this number, then this is the square, the 9, the 4, the 1, uh, you know, keep going, you'll end up with, like, say, 81, Okay, because that's 9 times 9, etc. Okay, so those are the numerical uh, squares. Number two, uh, for variables, a square has, wait for it, an even exponent. Yes! All right, with an exclamation point, because I'm excited by myself. Okay, so for variables, a square has an even exponent. More examples. Let's say x squared. Ho, oh, oh. ho! Not just a square because it sounds like x squared, or a square, but because x to the first times x to the first gets me back to x squared. Two can be split into one plus one. And so when you multiply the same base, you add up the exponents. So 1 plus 1 gives me back to 2. So x squared, uh, x times itself gives me x squared. Another example, y to the 10th. All right, split that bad boy up into y to the 5th times y to the 5th. Okay? Because when I add up the two 5s, I get back to 10. So y to the 5th times itself gives me y to the 10th. These things work. Let's say I have m to the, uh, to the, uh, uh, Seven, uh, 17, let me try that again, 80th, okay, very exciting there. Um, that would be m to the 40th times m to the 40th, 
okay? Because 80 is an even number, and so I can split it into 40 plus 40. 10 is an even number, I can split it into 5 plus 5. 2 is an even number, okay? Got the pattern here? Oh, pattern, there it is. Uh huh, erased it, but it still counts. Okay, so those are uh, examples of squares when it comes to uh, variables. Now, number three, uh, this is a little aside, a side note. All right, and it's like this difference equals subtraction. All right, because we're talking about the difference of squares. So, on a side note here, a difference equals subtraction. So, once we keep all, of, keep all that in mind, and I'm going to quickly erase here, while you don't erase, because you want to keep your notes, you paid good money watching this video, or you wasted many minutes watching this video, so you might as well keep the notes and see if we can bring it home. Uh, B. The pattern for factoring the difference of squares. And I'm going to call this the square pattern. Exclamation point. It's kind of like, ta-da! Don't actually go home, all right, and write down this formula, a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. And then tell your friends or professors or other people besides yourself that this is called the square pattern. Because if you do, especially if you could talk to another math instructor and say, I know this square pattern, they'll hand you a cookie, pat you on the head, and ask you to leave class. So that's something I made up. It's mine. So here in my world, we can call it the square pattern. Outside in your world, the square pattern is this, something squared minus something squared, to factor it, to split it up into something times something. Remember, factoring means splits it, split whatever you've got into something times something else. That's factoring. So I'm going to take this binomial, and I'm going to split it up into this binomial times another binomial. That's how I know I factored, because I have something times something, and no, no pluses or minuses, except inside. That's okay. But something times something. So I've got here um, this a squared. So this is a square. This is a difference. Put that i in there. And this is a square. Square minus square. Follow the pattern. This guy splits up into a times a. This splits up into b times b. Whatever they are. All right, we'll see what I mean by whatever they are. And then you put one of the a's here, one of the a's here, one b here, one b here, minus plus always. Minus plus. That's the way it is. Uh, there's, there's reasons for all this. I'm not just making it up. I said, hey, here's a formula. Go ahead and learn it. No, there's a basis for this, but I'm here just to teach you how to do this problem. If you want to know the basis, dig into your math book or email my website saying, what's the basis? Um, and and we'll, we'll go from there. But um, you do the split. So this A comes over here. This A goes over there. This B goes over here. And this B goes over here. All right? So you split the difference of squares. Each square split, split. One's a minus, one's a plus, put the A, the A, the B, the B, bam, box it up, <clears throat> take it home. Let's see an example. Egg example. Factor. And I've got something like this. I've got 16 minus y to the, um, let's make it 12. All right? 16 minus y to the 12. Well, great factor. All right, so step zero, I read that. So I might as well get credit for it. Step zero is read and look. Go to mathforbreakfast.com to learn more about step zero and the value of reading the instructions and looking at the problem. The instructions say factor. Well, we know there's a lot of different kinds of factoring. Factor out a common monomial. Factor a trinomial. Or in this case, factor the difference of squares. Well, whole different set of steps are factor the difference of squares. So factor tells me I need to split it up into something times something, that's good. That's what factor means. But then we need to look at the problem. When I look at this problem, I see something. I see this is a square. So this is the look part here. I see I got a square. I see I have another square, and that's important. 
because there's two of them here. And then I see I have a difference. Since I see that pattern. Square minus square. Square minus square. I can use the square pattern formula. Again, shh, don't tell anybody else about that because it's going to embarrass you. But here in my world, you're safe. I'm safe. Square minus square. How does this work? Well, I'm going to rewrite the problem and go to step one. Step one is split each square. How do I do that? Well, I've got my, and I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to rewrite it here. 16 minus y squared. I'm going to split this up into 4 times 4. And the y squared, I'm sorry, y to the 12th, splits up into y to the 6th times y to the 6th. Because I take half of 12 to give me 6 and 6 here. All right? So I did the splits. That kind of hurts. I did the splitting of my squares. All right, so that's step one. Step two, follow the square pattern. Exclamation point, because I'm excited about the square pattern. But again, I'm outside the computer monitor. All right, so to follow the square pattern, I have 16 minus y to the 12th. Split the 16, four times four. I'm going to rewrite in your notes to make them useful when you look back at them later. You don't need to rewrite this every, you know, all these steps when you do the problem. But for the notes, this should be helpful. And now I follow the pattern. The pattern says one's a minus, one's a plus. Okay. One's a minus, one's a plus. Binomial, binomial. That's what I've got here. I've done my splitting from part one, so now I just pass them on out. This four goes here. This four goes over here. This y to the 6, right over here. And this y to the 6, right over here. Everybody gets used. Nobody gets left out. One's a minus, one's a plus. Follow the pattern. Bam! I think I stole that from somebody, right? Bam, is that Emerald? So if he's cooking and I'm cooking, I have to pay him to say that, right? But I'm not cooking. I'm doing math, so it's safe. Bam! We did it. Of course, you want to box your answer, uh, which would be y, sorry, uh, 4 minus y to the 6th, 4 plus y to the 6th. Box it up so your teacher can see it. You've done it. You need another example? I've got another example. Click on to the next lesson and let's crank it on.